Hi guys, it's Ben here, back with player ratings as Liverpool beat Crystal Palace by two goals to nil to advance to the final of the Premier League Asia Trophy in Hong Kong. So in the first real test of pre-season as far as tough competition is concerned, Liverpool have seen off Crystal Palace 2-0 in the end after a dogged first half, no goals, no real chances for either side. In the second half, the quality did start to show towards the end. Coutinho made a big difference for Liverpool and then Dominic Solanke with his first goal in the Jurgen Klopp and what a goal it was. Picked the ball up, made himself some space for the shot and then just lashed that right foot shot right into one corner. There was no saving that. Really impressive from him, and then Divock Origi rounded it off later on with a scrappy one. But a comfortable win for Liverpool, a nice clean sheet as well for Simon Mignolet. Lots of positives to take from the performance, lots of good showings from lots of various players. Let's get into the player ratings. Simon Mignolet had very little to do, he gets a 6 out of 10 just for being solid. I mean, he made one good save from Anderson, but other than that, it wasn't really work. 6 out of 10 for him. Alberto Moreno, also a 6 out of 10, very little to do in what probably is one of his last appearances as a Liverpool player. Joe Gomez, I was actually really quite impressed with. There were a couple of occasions when I thought he might have been done for pace but he used his strength and his positioning to his advantage. Dealt really well with the Palace attack on the whole, untroubled, 7 out of 10. John Matip looked really comfortable alongside him, played on the left of the centre-back pairing, which is unusual for him, but I thought he was really quite assured for the most part, 7 out of 10. Trent Alexander-Arnold was a threat going forward and was solid defensively too, he gets 7 out of 10 as well. He's been one of the most impressive players so far this pre-season, I think I'm really excited to see how he progresses this term, and this was another reason to be excited about him, it's 7 out of 10 for him as well. Jordan Henderson produced an absolute masterclass for me, there was many occasions where he was spreading balls like Xabi Alonso, long cross field balls that were just finding the players feet, he found Salah a couple of times, just absolutely majestic, his positioning was perfect as well, he was just mopping up, if Liverpool lost possession, he was the one that was going to win it back and he just knew exactly what he was doing, it was the old Jordan Henderson setting the tempo, exactly what we saw at the start of last season for me. He gets an 8 out of 10. Ben Woodburn played in midfield today and showed some nice touches. Looked very confident in there. Doesn't look out of place at all. Gets a 7 out of 10. Adam Milana, another 7. I thought he was pressing really nicely. One decent effort, which I think went just wide off storage. Comes as no surprise that he was really bright and at it. Mohamed Salah, they couldn't live within Crystal Palace. His pace was just absolutely frightening. And there were a couple of opportunities for him as well to play somebody in. I think one of his crosses didn't quite beat the first man. So a little bit frustrating on the end product side of things. But... He's just an absolutely frightening player and I think that's evidence that a lot of Premier League defenders are going to struggle against him even if they do sit quite deep. You just can't deal with a man with that much pace and that much quality. 7 out of 10. Roberto Firmino, not for the first time this summer in pre-season, didn't quite get into the game as much as you've liked. So he gets a 6 out of 10, did very little wrong and not much to remember from his display. Daniel Sturridge's performance was okay, a couple of wrong decisions at times, tried to take players on and do too much once or twice. You do sometimes see that from him but can't really complain, he was okay. Had that one effort with his right foot that worked the keeper, 6 out of 10 for Sturridge. Onto the second half side, John Flanagan came on at right back. Looks really overweight at the moment, John Flanagan. He doesn't, definitely needs to lose a pound or two before the season starts. But had very little to do during the game. Not much attacking came at him uh, in the second half. So he gets a 6 out of 10 for his decent work. Wagner Clavin, likewise, almost got caught out a couple of times. But a 6 out of 10 display from him, untroubled overall. Dan Lovren, another one that had a quiet night. I think he showed one really good piece of strength in the first half to deny Palace. But other than that, had very little to do, 6 out of 10. I actually thought James Milner played noticeably well tonight. I think he deserved a 7 out of 10. He got forward nicely. It was him that came down the left-hand side that led to the second goal as he crossed it in towards Coutinho. So yeah, pretty pleased with him. Obviously, Robertson is about to sign for Liverpool, but I do think Milner will still be predominantly the left-back for us. Marco Grujic had another pretty poor night, and that tackle on Zahar was just pretty unnecessary. And you do get that from Grujic sometimes. There's a few long balls he attended that just went to nobody. 5 out of 10, unfortunately, for him. Genie Vinaldum, strong as an ox as ever. Really lively, some good passing, good movement. He does play well and he plays a bit deeper as well. And again, he, he seems to be coming quite far back to pick up the ball today as he did against Wigan. So I was really quite impressed, 7 out of 10. Philip Coutinho, one of the best players on the park again. His touch was just ridiculous. Just running past players if they're not there. Just he seems to have, in these preseason games he just seems to know that he's so much better than everyone else and he just like plays as if there's no pressure on him. Doesn't take so many stupid shots, he just sort of like take players on. So he gets an 8 out of 10 for me. Ryan Kent looked pretty bright. There were a couple of occasions when he tried to take the defender on, didn't quite work out for him, but there was one occasion when he cut in from the right and unleashed a left-footed shot, which the keeper had to get down to save. 
Six out of ten for him. I thought he didn't disgrace himself. David Kariga gets a goal and an assist. He didn't do much else on the night, but you can't really argue with those stats. I think there was a time last season when he scored like five and five without really doing much else in those games, but he does get numbers, so he gets a seven out of ten for this game. And finally, Dominic Solanke, the man who got his first Liverpool goal, and it's a goal to be really excited about. It's very Stan Collymore esque. Unleashed a really rasping shot the keeper had no chance with. Really, so much venom behind that shot. It was really quite impressive with very little back lift. So, I'm really excited about that. I think he might actually get some game this season. He's really impressed so far. And for me, he gets an 8 out of 10 for this game. So there we have it. Liverpool advanced to play Leicester City on Saturday afternoon English time. Obviously evening over there in Hong Kong. But yeah, Liverpool with a good clean sheet, a good win. 2-0 over a team that we don't necessarily always have the best results against, especially at Anfield. Probably won't make much difference in the grand scheme of things. I doubt it will be that much of a psychological edge going into our game against them at Anfield in August. But a nice victory nonetheless against Premier League opposition. Man of the match for me does go to Dominic Solanke. Coutinho was in a world of his own, of course, as he always is in pre season but Dominic Solanke to really step up today score that wonderful goal had a real presence about him I think we could all be quite excited I think Chelsea have really let one go through their fingers here I think Solanke may well have a good future on the point look it's pre-season we shouldn't bring into it too much but the attributes are there for all to see with, with Dominic Solanke let's hope that he can become a real star at Liverpool leave a comment with your man of the match and your thoughts on the game do you think we'll go on to beat Leicester on Saturday what did you think of Mohamed Salah too is he starting to excite you hope you enjoyed the video guys please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff drop a like share the video for me and follow my other social that's Ben might say on Twitter Instagram Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time